Porn Stars are People Podcast. My name is Anthony Levin, your host, here with Annabelle Peace. We're at AVN. Um, before anything is open. I know, that's better because otherwise it'll get really loud. Yeah, it's going to be nice. This is my first AVN. Um, thank you for doing this interview. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you coming in here to do it so I don't have to, like, there's all places that they're doing the interviews, like in the lobby and in a meeting room. Yeah. And I was like, please, come here. No, you, you've, made, you've made this very, very easy. Uh, plenty of people are, are like, no, just like follow me around. I'm just gonna do things. I'm like, no, that's gonna be impossible. Yeah, and then um, it'd be really loud and crazy. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna be a weird week, uh, weird weekend for me, as the first time at this. Thing. I went to Exotica. Uh, it seems like a very different show. Well, it's just a little bit. Exotica seems to be more like uh, lots of local girls and lots yeah. of lower, um, like cam girls and sure. things like that. And then this is like every yeah, porn star the, around the one. shows up. This so. is the Super Bowl. So it is. It's like the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was just telling you, I saw you basically win every award at, uh, at, the, at the Inked Awards this year. And, and, uh, and then I guess it seemed like you did that last year, too. Uh, well, okay. So I, <laughs> I won, I think, two... I think I only won two out of five awards the year before, and yeah. I won five out of nine awards okay. this year. So that's still your your like yeah. Really? You're the Tom Hanks. It was amazing. You're the Daniel Day Lewis. You just compared me to Tom Hanks. Can't you compare me to somebody who has like nice boots? Well, I'm trying to think. But well, you're the Meryl Streep. No, because well, because that's the record, right? The record is oh, okay, is that the okay. the most Oscar wins for dudes, but. Uh, there's, I don't think there's a woman who has the equivalent. I'll take, I'll take Tom Hanks. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis wins every year. Okay. Yes. All right. So I, I, could, I win every year. Yes. Okay. So then, but if you're Daniel Day Lewis and you have to go live in the South of France and make shoes whenever you're not filming. Mm, okay. Well, I'll take the Tom Hanks one. That one sounds better. And I have boobs. So. Uh, Tom Hanks has boobs now. Does he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's, the he's, last one I remember was Castaway. Was like super. Yeah. No. That was a. That was. Uh, that was uh, Twenty six or seven years ago. No, it was not. Yes, I think it was. I think the last time. I think Castaway happened. Uh, when was the last time I saw him topless? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's my point. Yeah, he's not. He's not trying to show anyone anymore. That's right. Um, so very cool. So uh, you. You are from Oklahoma. I am from Oklahoma. Born and raised. Well, okay. Technically, I'm from, born and raised in Iowa. Okay, very and, cool. But I've always lived in the Midwest, yeah. and so I live in Oklahoma, and I've lived there for a long time. Where in Iowa? I, where in Iowa? Right in the dead smack center in like Cedar Rapids, Des Moines. Okay, sure, yeah. yeah I was there for the first time uh, recently in Waterloo. Why? And it is exactly, Ooh. here's the thing, as a comedian, we use Iowa mm-hmm. as an example of, like, just Nowheresville, U.S. <laughs> I was going to say, and idiots out walking around or yeah. something, that's what they say Iowa Yeah, is. and they're not wrong. They're not, it's just sort of like, it's just sort of like, there's not like, um, no offense to Iowa, it's, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm from Syracuse, it doesn't have much of an identity either, but right. Iowa is a general rule. Kind of, it just doesn't have much of like a specific identity. Correct. It's all everybody's good natured. Everybody's yeah. pretty nice. Everybody's hometown. There's yeah. no big cities. There's there are all these little small areas. And yes. And then, uh, right. it's, it's, as a traveler, we try to do this thing where we go to a place and we go, "What's the thing you do in this place?" And in Iowa, they don't. You know, there's not a thing. Is it cow tipping? I don't know. Yeah, just I was like, drinking. <laughs> more drinking. Probably. Yeah. Um, They're like, let's forget about what we did today because today was boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how? How long were you in Iowa? Do you have a memory of the yeah. life? Oh yeah, like that. I lived my first 18 years okay. there. So as soon as I graduated high school, I was out. So Oklahoma. Yeah, Oklahoma is cool. where it's at. Yeah. Oklahoma, <laughs> it really is a, a fun place. I've, I've had the, I've played up in Tulsa. I've played Oklahoma City. I'm a big fan of. I don't, I don't know what it is. It, it really is sort of like the the Southern hospitality thing. It is. Everybody's. It's, it's like people are. The men are still gentlemen. Yeah. And it's a. Uh, it's kind of Bible Belt. So yeah. People are pretty, Bible yeah, Bale. the Bible Belt, yeah. <laughs> I don't have an accent. Bible Belt. I, <laughs> I can I, try. I just remember someone saying, I was on tour with a buddy who talks about religion. It okay. doesn't do anything dirty, but this woman came up to me afterwards. She said, you can't do that here. It's a Bible Belt. So that just that sentence will be stuck in my brain. Bible Belt. <laughs> Forever. Yes. Um, so, did you grow up religious? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm a, a Southern Baptist. Southern Baptist. Yeah. Southern Baptist. Right? You have to see how the accent when you do that. 
I love when people from Oklahoma always really claiming they don't have an accent. I don't have an accent. Like I'm a Southern Baptist. So, <laughs> no accent, like though. No accent, though. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, probably. Nobody ever thinks they have an accent until they are around somebody right. who does, and right. then it's like, well, you have the accent. Well, yeah, or yeah, when you or when you go somewhere else. Yeah, yes, true. And they're like, what? Why are you speaking that <laughs> way? And like, I don't understand what you mean. People always figure it out when I'm like, okay, what kind of pop do I want today? And they're like, you're not oh, yeah. from around here, are you? I, I came home crying as a child. I lived in Ohio for three years. I came home mm. crying as a child after they told me that I needed to have tennis shoes. And I, and, I, and I had sneakers. I've been in tennis shoes. And I, and, and I came home and I, and I was a child that thought I knew everything. And I started crying to my parents about how, no, I need tennis shoes. Um, and then yep. she was trying to explain to me what that meant. That's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, sorry. For, for the people. For the people that don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So the so five star hotel that they had to stay at was like attached to a mall. Yeah. So they were like, here, we'll take you to the mall. And I'm like, you do realize that not every woman alive likes the mall. I hate yeah. shopping. Yeah. Like shopping is, I run from shopping. Yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. shopping. If I need something, can you shop for me? Right. Like yeah, I need a new dress or something like that. I don't want to find just a dress. It I don't want to me. try on a dress. I don't want. I just want you to find the perfect dress. It must fit me exactly, and yeah. then just purchase it for me. Yeah. And then bring what it a life. Me. That would be amazing. It never happens that <laughs> right, way. Right, right. <laughs> but I yeah, hate yeah. trying you mean, clothes on because yeah. nothing yeah. ever fits me because um, I have rather no, large yes. breast yeah, pieces. Yeah, you're right. But, yeah. Breast pieces. Yeah. Breast pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but oh, I'm very yeah, tiny yeah, otherwise. Okay. So I'm like a size small or extra yeah. small, yeah. but <laughs> not extra small. But they don't account for the boobs. Yeah, exactly. Not extra small up here. So then I end up wearing like a size 8 or 10, which is not an extra small. And you have to like get somebody to stand behind you and like pull in the strings. and I'm altering it. Oh, it's terrible. So. I hate shopping. It's a rough life. It is a rough life. I do like looking for shoes. Yeah. So I like shoes. I don't love shoes, but they're the only thing that tried and true. You can get a size Put eight, on, and they're gonna match. Yeah. yeah. And I have. So. Well, I have the opposite problem is, is that I don't generally fit in the in the size shoe. So the shoe part is. Oh. Okay. So it's like if it, so it's a twelve, but then the the width doesn't line up. It's like okay. I've never been the guy to walk in do the thing where the, it's like those are dope boots. Put them on and then they're walk good. to no. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I got gotcha. you. Wow. I got gotcha. you. Whereas I'm just like, I like those. Buy them. Go. I didn't even try them on. That's yeah. my favorite part. Yeah. And when I go to a regular store to like find a shirt, but one, these items look really I can't nice see like when it's on a when it's on a hanger. Yeah. I can't tell if it's gonna look yeah. good on me. Some well, people just have that eye and they're like, that's gonna look you great. Got, girls have too many so, choices. That's true. So I figured out that I just wear a V-neck or like a. Um, or like a long sleeve V-neck and it fits my body right and then that's all I've, I've become a cartoon character. So you have that in like I, seven different colors 100. and yeah, okay. Because I'm, cause I'm on the road, I just, I just I just do the hundred and then I take the hundred with me and then I just go and I'm like, this is the one today, like Doug, just put the thing on, no thought. Um, so I have the same thing with cami, cami, camisole skirts. So they, you wear a size small, they yeah. make your boots look amazing yeah. and they're tiny on the top and they're tight in the, in the center yeah. and I have them in like 15 different colors. I think if, I think if we could just figure out how to streamline nice. life, that's, uh, that's the goal. Yes. yes. So that's, yeah, so we're, we're both cartoon characters. <laughs> but it works. You, I mean, you, yeah. you have a responsibility to look glamorous. I, I, I have the opposite. Please, please, no. Actually, so I've been really happy website, that I am, I don't know, I would never call myself the typical porn star. One, because yeah. I'm old. Uh, um, oh, I don't know. So you're, 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 adding, you're, adding, you're adding in something that someone said to you this week. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm 36. Yeah. So in porn, 36 yeah, is like, you are retiring like next year, I like, right? I like this idea yeah. that we would convert it to like dog years. I was <laughs> exactly. hoping that's where you were gonna go. So when 36, <laughs> when porn is like, it's like yeah, it's like 50, yeah. 60. It's like you're you're almost done, right? <laughs> and I just started three years ago. Yeah. But like people are called milk at age 25. Right. In yes, I had I did have so. this. I met some people my age and doing this this, uh, this yeah. podcast yeah. and basically they're like I came in as a milk. Yeah. That's, that was my opening scene. Yeah. yeah, and like I don't necessarily look milky. Right. I don't think I look milky. Right. I'm all badass looking and stuff yeah. like that and bright and, and, and young and I've definitely seen some milks and I don't know like bright and wild I don't know no, feisty I'm not feisty is the word that I use all the time because I'm like yes I 